O oh, Great Spirit, Earth Mother, Creator, you who are called by so many names and worshipped in so many ways, you know my heart. Thank you for this day and this gift of life. I pray this day to take a dear from the flow of life, a dear brother or sister, that will strengthen the dear nation, a weak dear, a sick dear, an old dear, and that will feed myself and my family and the good people of this earth. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. When I walk into the woods to sit for hours in hopes of being invisible, in hopes of finding food, I often wonder what my ancestors did long ago. My grandmother told me that one of her elders was a native. What did her people say? What did they do in their search for sustenance? Did they enter the sweat lodge to eliminate their scent? How did they view the animal tracks, the waters, the winds, the soil? How did they tend the earth to ensure the health of future generations? How did they tend to one another? How can I do these same things? I don't call myself Native American, but I feel the call of my ancestors in my heart and in my soul, bringing me to the wild places. I feel the waters of the earth are my blood, the stones my bones, their minerals my marrow. I am part of the earth and she is part of me. All I have and all I am is made of her. When my father first took me hunting, he showed me how to offer tobacco and say thank you to the deer and the earth and the forces, as he called them. And so I am grateful to have learned this way of respect and honoring life. It makes my heart and soul feel good to say thank you, and life is that much sweeter. Early in bow season, I made eye contact with a big old doe. She stood broadside about twelve feet away from me as I crouched behind a thicket of goldenrod and raspberry. I had found an area where many deer trails intersected and bottlenecked into one well-used runway heading through a protective hawthorn grove directly past two ancient apple trees. Both laden with fruit, drops formed layers at their base. Our eyes met the moment after my arrow launched toward her, only to strike the smallest branch of a raspberry bramble and sail clean under her. Not a hair was touched. She looked at me with total surprise and jumped away. Her annoyance with me was clear in her footsteps. For that cold September morning, she would have to wait to feed on the apples. Everything about the hunt unfolded perfectly except for that one tiny raspberry branch. I guess it was her day to live a bit longer and my day to learn even the tiniest twig can change the entire course of life. Later on in season, however, I was blessed with a couple of deer. One in black powder and one during rifle season. What an amazing gift. Wow. Oh, he's so soft. Wow. Beautiful spike. Oh, Great Spirit, Earth Mother, Creator, you who are called by so many names and worshipped in so many ways, you know my heart. Thank you for this animal. Thank you, dear brother, for your gift of your life and your sustenance and everything that you will give to these good people who may feed the hungry people the good food. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I offer this to you, these sacred herbs. 
thank you so much. For you have blessed me. You have blessed me and my family. You will become flesh of my flesh and flesh of my people. And you will run free and wild so long as me and my people breathe the life that you have given us. And we will return to you when we return to the earth. Thank you. It's never easy taking life, <laughs> but it's very nourishing. <laughs> so now we're going to gut him and drag him back <laughs> with so much gratitude. Getting any lighter, I'll tell you that. <laughs>